What's up guys, Louie here and welcome back to Acorn Hill. The lawn renovation project is in full swing here in Acorn Hill and if you are tuning in, uh, I am uh, creating a series on how our lawn will be transformed from a weed laden lawn into hopefully a new lawn filled with tall fescue. Uh, majority of it should be filled with that. That's what we are planning on doing uh, for the fall. September is the best time to plant and prepare the lawn because we are growing cold season uh, type grasses. A tall fescue will germinate during the colder uh, weeks and when the temperature starts dipping so we can establish the roots uh, into the lawn that we are trying to rebuild. Last time, just to recap, what we did was we scalped the lawn, we killed the lawn so that we could kill whatever existing grass we growing uh, in the lawn. And after that, we did a good amount of um, organic weed killing using the product Bonide. Now for this uh, episode, what we will do is I'll show you how I scarify and how I dethatch the lawn. Scarify means we're using an equipment. Uh, this is equipment that I showed you before uh, where a scarifying blade is used on an electrically controlled uh, equipment to chop up remove bits out of whatever is growing into the lawn. Right after that, we need to dethatch. And dethatching just means raking in all the accumulated organic matter, uh, be it dead weed, uh, dead grass, clippings, leaves, anything that is um, uh, creating a canopy uh, that prevents water and prevents the seeds from actually reaching the soil. So I hope you like this episode and I will uh, give you all the details as we go along uh, as I show you the video and as I show you how I properly did uh, the dethatching and the scarifying process of the lawn. Now before we jump into my project, let's talk about having a green lawn, an ideal soil, and why dethatching and scarifying are important mechanical factors to achieving an ideal soil. Having a green lawn starts with having good soil in which the roots of the grass grow in. An ideal soil is one that is kept evenly moist, has good aeration, has a pH level of about 6.5, and enjoys sufficient nutrients. Think of the lawn as having three levels. The first level is the grass blades level. This is the top layer that we see. What we see above is the result of our lawn care efforts. However, much of the action takes place at levels 2 and 3, the lower levels, the soil level where the roots are located, and the layer of thatch, which is the layer between the grass blades and the soil. What's driven me into finally taking charge of my lawn is everything soil science, soil health, and healthy organic lawn care. What I wanted to do really is being a good steward of the biggest growing plant in our property, the grass. So from part one of this lawn renovation project of killing the lawn using the grass and weed killer, the next step is to scarify it. With the electric scarifier and dethatcher that I got from Lidl, I'm gonna tell you a bit of a product review on how this gadget helped me in turning the soil, chopping up the bits, and removing many of the root components of the weed that has grown and overtaken my lawn. The scarifying cartridge is a piece of tubular metal with dagger-like, knife-like blades staggered across a 20-inch span. And I very much like this product for the ease of removal and assembly of the cartridges on and off the machine by one simple turn of the red knob along the right side of the cartridge. Once the cartridge is properly placed under the machine, the machine plugged in, all it takes is one simple push of an on and off switch along the right side of the handle and the scarifier takes off at its own moderate easy pace. This machine can scarify the ground up to two inches deep, a substantial depth not only to turn the soil over but really to take out all the deeply seeded roots of the weeds and the remaining grass of any lawn that needs full renovation. It's important to make multiple passes in one direction with the scarifier and then at 90 degrees doing an equal if not more multiple passes in order to really cover a good portion of the lawn and remove any debris. 
After covering about 400 square feet along the front and the side of our house, I figured it's time to start checking the blade of the scarifier. This machine is very light and as I mentioned before, the ease of removing and assembling the scarifier cartridge is a breeze. As you can see, I'm just turning one simple knob along the right side of the scarifier. Prior to cleaning the scarifier cartridge, I decided to clean the underside of the scarifier dethatcher equipment. Dirt can really accumulate underneath the hood casing of the machine. Careful cleaning is needed so that there's not a lot of accumulation going on on the underside. So after this cleanup, it's now time to remove the scarifier cartridge. And as you guys can see, the removal is as simple as one, two, three. The scarifier cartridge with its blades being two inches long has really dug and snagged up a lot of the long tap roots of the weed that I am dealing with the front and now will be dealing along the side of the house as I continue the scarifying process. And now the time has come for this equipment to be turned from scarifier to dethatcher. I've taken out the dethatching cartridge and I'm putting it in and it's again as easy as one, two, three in its assembly. I have waited months for this moment for my lawn to be dethatched as I know my lawn has been choked up with a lot of thatch over the years. The way dethatching works is quite simple. On and along the cartridge are 33 flexible steel tines that will grab thatch as it rotates vigorously when this tool is turned on. Because our lawn hasn't been cared for properly for years, the thatch on the lawn has been severe. So along with the long renovation, Removing this thick layer now would be ideal. Not only will it allow new grass seeds to reach onto the soil, when the grass grows, we will prevent the roots from getting suffocated. A few passes by my electrical detacher, and I can tell you it's a game changer. The rotating rake-like tines dug into the lawn at soil level without any difficulty and pulled up the thatch efficiently. I also didn't feel any improper tug by the machine. It mowed at its own pace comfortable enough that I don't feel it being too slow nor too fast while I operate behind it. There is also a rake that I use for manual thatch removal, but I will tell you more about this on a separate vlog, so stay tuned. This is the east side of our garden. It pretty much encompasses a big part of the backyard. As you can tell, I'm really having an easy time dethatching and removing all that gunk that's enveloping my entire backyard. Now here's me three quarters of the way done dethatching the west side of our property. And look at all the amount of debris that the electric scarifier dethatcher was able to pull up from the ground. I'm telling you doing this on my property was quite satisfying. Satisfying for me because I can see the obvious tangible result of my work and also for the lawn. It's almost as if I feel the lawn giving me a sigh of relief. I did several passes with the electrical dethatcher both on the west side and on the east side of our property. But notice that this time I'm using a bag so that I can catch all the debris that I was able to pull up. It also was a dry day, so that it was quite dusty. I wanted to make sure that I do this before the rain comes. For the price, this little dethatcher really did the job. It is able to get down into the dirt, pick up all the thatch, and pick up all the other debris that is choking up my lawn. And how's this for the final result? Check it out guys. The soil is exposed, the debris and the thatch are taken out. This dethatcher really did the trick. The initial prep done by this detacher on our front lawn will now allow the soil to become loose and friable so that good soil to seed contact will happen. And here's a good shot of how I did the backyard. If the dethatching was done by the electric detacher, but I'm also using a manual rake, which is a product that I will introduce to you guys on a separate vlog. Check out the amount of thatch that was picked up, both by the electric and by the manual kind. 
And the next step to my lawn renovation project is applying the pre-emergent that will prevent all the weed seeds from growing before I put the grass seeds down. In any case, if you like this video and anything that we put out on Acorn Hill, do give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, so that you can learn something new, comment, chime in, maybe you have renovated your own lawn uh, through our comment section. Again, we appreciate you watching. This is Louie, and we'll see you back here in Acorn Hill. Bye-bye.